I want to take the mask off. Some of you have never seen my chin before. It's all right. It's not that special. I covered up the chin acne for this, so uh, you're welcome. You're welcome. I thought about bringing my own Clorox wipe. I, uh, I actually did. It's right here because I used to be a Girl Scout, and uh, what I remember about Girl Scouts is that we always leave a place slightly less infected with a life-threatening virus than we found it. I think that's what it was. I can't, I think that's what it was though. Um, but yeah, it's great to see everyone found pants, which is cool. Uh, I thought it was crazy to get dressed today because I was like, people are gonna look at me and see me. Like it matters what's going on up top and down here. All right. So I went with the skirt because that was basically like no pants. Uh, but. Uh, I put makeup on too. This is the first lipstick my mouth has seen in forever. And by the time I was done getting dressed, I was really feeling myself. And I realized I'm a goldfish. Huh. The snake that smiles back. <laughs> yeah, someone got it. Someone likes it. One, one of you likes jingles. You're my new friend. Um, I will say, someone who loves all day, every day, stay at home gate 2020 is my dog. Her name is Onyx, which I was informed. Uh, is also a Pokemon that looks a lot like anal beads. Uh, oh, oh, we have an anal beads crowd. Okay. Uh, but it does. And that's not why I named her that. She's a black dog. But yeah, she's, uh, she's three years old, a mixed breed from West Virginia, which is the most exotic export coming out of West Virginia. Uh, I can make that joke. I lived there on purpose. Money does crazy things. <laughs> but people are really weird about my dog. They always want to know what breed she is. And I'm like, I like renting property, so I don't check. I have no idea what breed my dog is. And people say weird things. I was in a pet co with her once, and this woman with her two weird kids, and trust me, once you hear how crazy this lady is, you'll be like, yeah, the kids only have a matter of time. It's like a ticking time bomb with them. Uh, but her daughter goes, that looks like my dog. And the mom goes, oh, it does. What breed is she? I'm like, uh, black and floppy. <laughs> I, I don't know. I have no idea what breed my dog is. Uh, and she goes, what? You haven't done a doggy DNA test? And I go, what? And she goes, we did one for our Chauncey, or whatever the fuck this crazy lady named her dog. I said, Chauncey. And he's part Labrador, part Bloodhound. Part, and this goes on for some time. Like, I think she's making stuff up, right? Part Emu, part Kitchen Sink. Part, and it just keeps going until finally she gets to the end. And she's like, and it only cost me $126. And I looked at her and I blinked. Like, <laughs> and my dog looked at her and she was blinking. Because that's what my dog does. That has nothing to do with this. But she was still there. She was there. Just want you to know. Uh, and I had to bite my tongue because what I wanted to say was, wow, that's crazy. I have a black floppy dog and $126. <laughs> like, pretend for a moment, if you will, I have $126 to spend <laughs> at all. Right? No, no. You're not laughing because it's not a joke. Uh, I send it off. They send me the test kit. I get a sample from my dog, which I'm sure she'll love. I send it away. They send you the results. I'm going to open it up and be like, oh, Beagle, you lied to me. Like, what? No. It, three years into the relationship, I'm committed to whatever breed she is. For real. Promise. Uh, but the other thing people get really crazy about with her is her gender. There's always people walking up on us when I walk her because she's cute and like you have to, right? Like you can't, she's got that face and she's just excited to be alive. And I, I wonder what it's like. I, she's an antidepressant that poops and I, I can't. <laughs> but um, people walk up on us and they're like, he or she, he or she, he or she. And my dog thinks her name is fucking Hershey. <laughs> these people walk up and they want to know he or she, like it matters. Uh, so I tell them, oh, she's a girl, and they're like, what a good girl, and she's like, I know, I am, it's me, but realistically, if you think about it, like, if someone walked up on my dog and misgendered her, she's a dog, remember, let me, that is the point of this joke, she is a dog, and they go, oh, such a good boy, my dog's gonna be like, yep, that's me, I'm the best boy, like, she doesn't care, she's a dog, and it just messes me up a lot because our, our priorities are skewed. They're just wrong. And if you want to know why, it's because people are worried about misgendering my dog. And we can't even get old straight white Republicans not to misgender people. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. It's been great. <laughs>